I am Dr. Nanette Wenger from the Department of Medicine Division of Cardiology at the Emory University School of Medicine in Atlanta, Georgia. And it was my privilege to deliver the opening plenary lecture in memory of Dr. Jeremy Swan. I chose to discuss gender disparities in coronary heart disease. And the question that was being asked is, is this bias? Is this biology? Or is this both? And as background, women have traditionally been underrepresented in any of the studies that involve the recognition and the management, and indeed the prevention of coronary disease. We women are more complex. We have different pathophysiology of coronary disease. We have obstructive disease in the epicardial arteries, as do men. But we also have microvascular disease, and we have endothelial dysfunction. So the presentations may be much more diverse. But added to this is the fact that certain risk factors preferentially disadvantage women. Diabetic women do worse. Women who have complications of pregnancy are at increased risk. And what we see with acute coronary syndromes, with myocardial infarction, is that women are not treated typically according to the guideline-directed medical therapies. They receive fewer diagnostic procedures, less prompt diagnostic procedures than do men. And as a result, there are adverse outcomes. The good news is that with percutaneous interventions, women do as well as men, but they still have more complications of bleeding and more complications of renal failure. We have great concern that the young woman, the woman younger than age 50, has worse outcomes with both myocardial infarction and with coronary bypass surgery than the young men. So to put this together, certainly there are contributions of the pathophysiology, of the biology. Women are different, but there is major bias in terms of the recognition and the management. And attention to this, and recruitment of women into clinical research studies and into registries has the potential to improve the outcomes for coronary heart disease in women.